Do you know one thing? It's been an absolute hot minute since I've done a food haul and I was like hauling my little bags, literally <gasps> heaving my bags in from the car. And I was like, I know what I'm gonna film. I feel inspired. Um, not only to show you how much I eat exactly the same as I did this time last year or the last time you watched a food haul from me, but also, again, to re-highlight the plastic issue we are facing um, and how it's basically not impossible, but very difficult uh, if you're on a budget, if you want to save a few pennies from your weekly food shop but trying to eat healthy um, and stuff like that, or healthy uh, let's say, um, and how it's it's very difficult to avoid plastic. Like I would love to be able to go to the market and buy individual fruits and veggies, and I've done that before, and I've literally tripled uh, my food bill. So I can't afford to do that. I have to go to Aldi's, and then I pick up my other bits that I can't get from Sainsbury's. And there are choices where I know I could make a better choice, but I choose not to make a better choice uh, because I am putting weight loss or finances or laziness before the planet. So I'm gonna sort of like, it's almost like a memoir to future me of like, what we can do to change things. So let's go. First up, I've got me sugar-free monster energy, which is probably loaded full of chemicals and it is really bad for me. I think that this is good. It says widely recycled on the back. It's a tin, it's recyclable. But I think Kerry once told me that like some tins they melt them down and they've got like a coating of plastic on the inside. Like what utter madness is that? What utter madness? <sighs> Unleash the beast. Just starting randomly. So a baby leaf salad in a plastic bag. I could buy a lettuce um, and like make my own salad, but that also comes wrapped in plastic and I would waste half the lettuce because I only need half the lettuce. Do you get me? So like that's the portion size that I need. You can't avoid the plastic either way. Three packets of the Stender Tem, Stender Tem? Tender Stem Broccoli. I needed the Tender Stem over a normal broccoli and I needed 600 grams of it. Comes in 200 gram packs, therefore I've got three plastic bags. Even if I had wanted to buy a normal broccoli in the supermarket, the majority of supermarkets, they come shrink wrapped in some sort of cling filmy type of plastic. Unavoidable plastic. Spring onions don't come wrapped. Why is that, I wonder? I don't really physically understand, but they come with like rubber bands around them that clearly are too tight and they like damage the product. You can see where they've squashed squashed them. I know it holds them together, but like, are rubber bands biodegradable? Are they, are they environmentally friendly? I don't know. I do not know these things. I sh probably should know these things, but I don't. A singular loose pepper. The majority of the time, this is how I try to buy my peppers. However, this particular week, I needed one green pepper, one yellow pepper and one red pepper, two red peppers. Um, and they have those multi bags of peppers, which work out cheaper. Uh, and as I've mentioned before, finances are something that I like to monitor closely. So if I can save myself a couple of pence here and a couple of pence there, then I've got a couple of pence more to spend on my daughter at Christmas or on the weekends or for school shoes or for school uniform or for toilet roll or something. It all gets spent somewhere else, but I, at least I've got the money to spend it somewhere else. So anyway, I needed two red peppers. They didn't have a single red pepper, so I bought this orangey one because the rest were yellow and I felt sorry because this one didn't have any friends. Two plastic bags of lower in fat, 50% less fat, light mozzarella. So 
how can you buy mozzarella in that liquidy stuff? Uh, more economically, I don't think you can. Um, the answer would be to don't buy mozzarella because it's not British and you should only be buying British products to reduce the carbon footprint, right? Right? I don't know. How do we do that? 2% turkey mince comes in plastic. How else, how else would you pack it? I don't, like, even if you went to the butcher, I went to the butcher once because I was doing that whole thing where I went to the market to buy my fresh fruit and veggies. But when I went to the butcher, he like double wrapped it in a single use plastic bag anyway. Like, how do you avoid it? Like, what do you wrap it in anyway? I don't know. Three packets of lean bacon medallions. I think I've picked up one smoked. I prefer the smokes and two normal. I decided to get two normal because I never go for the normal. I don't think I can remember the last time I had unsmoked bacon as such. So there's 30 rashers there because I needed 24. So you can't like, you know, get half size packs and I'm sure the other six rashers will not go to waste. So I've chosen to pay more money for the bacon medallions rather than buy the bacon with the fat on it, which is cheaper and then chop it off myself. I'll cook from scratch anyway, pretty much. Um, so I do a lot of prep work as it is. So little tiny savings, like where I don't have to cut the fat off the bacon is a massive time saver for me. And it's the cutting back on the other pennies elsewhere so I can spend it on other things. But again, three plastic packages. Quark in a plastic packaging. How do you buy quark not in plastic packaging? Please tell me. A joint of gammon in a blister packaging. How do you buy it? If I bought it from the butcher, he's gonna double wrap it in single use plastic anyway. How do you buy gammon without the thing? Or just don't buy it. But then that's not a lifestyle choice that I'm willing to do either. So my partner's not vegan. I was a vegan. I've decided that we can't financially go two ways. It's just impossible. I haven't got enough time in the day to cook a meat version and a vegan version. Um, and I do realise the impact of buying meat, dairy and eggs on the environment. So if I stopped buying those, then that would save a lot of damage to the environment. I have tried to boycott beef at the moment because that's very in the media. And it's not just kind of like, because it's in the media, I know that eating beef is very damaging to the environment. It's very damaging to your gut. Um, that's why I bought the turkey mince instead. Don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but in my mind it does. Light, lighter, mature cheddar cheese. Less, 30% less fat than like the original version. We've got two big things of chicken with massive chicken breasts in them. I mean, I don't, and I don't think I've ever seen a chicken with a breast that size in, in real life. Find me the chicken. So I just think that might have been pumped with saline. Again, in plastic packaging, but I've got, I counted these once. I think I've got like 22 or like 24 of these in my kitchen alone, let alone scattered around the rest of the house. However, I have been using the this particular set of plastic bags for since when I moved in with Holly, just me and her into our own little flat in Swansea. I've been using these exact bags since then. Um, uh, Holly's five now, so probably about four and a half years, maybe five years, because she's nearly six. So, um, yeah, not single-use plastic, which is good, but um, I have vowed that when these break, I will replace them with material cotton reusable bags instead. That's just one bag. I have one, two, three, four, five, six more bags full of stuff. Um, everything in that bag that I showed you, apart from these, well, we don't know about the rubber bands, but these weren't wrapped in plastic. Everything else was. That concerns me greatly. 
Um, so I'm gonna whip through the rest of the stuff super duper quickly. I'm not gonna like comment on every single thing because we'll be here for absolutely hours. Um, and yeah, it's shocking basically. Shredded wheats or wheat shreds is Aldi's answers to that. Cherry tomatoes wrapped in plastic. Grapes wrapped in plastic. Melon wrapped in plastic. Cup shots, so a mug shot, Aldi's version of it. Is this, yeah, this, I have always put this in my recycling, this, because I thought it was some sort of like paper. It says, not yet recycled. So I've been putting this in my recycling and contaminating my recycling. So every time my recycling has been going to the recycling center, they won't be able to recycle my recycling because I've been contaminating it with something that's not yet recycled. Thank you, not. I genuinely thought these were paper, but obviously they're not. Four of those, Holly likes those. Mushrooms in a plastic pot wrapped in plastic. Um, I have started like reusing these pots like in the fridge to sort of like separate stuff out when I do buy loose items as such. Um, this shop has got to be the one of the shops that I have bought the least amount of loose items going. Another melon pot. So what I really could have done is bought a whole melon, but like, you get, do you get me? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Apples. There is no reason why these can't be loose. These could easily be loose. And like, I could pick up six and it would still cost the same amount of money. And then nobody has to pay for plastic packaging. The supermarket doesn't have to pay for it and stuff. So like multi-buys like this, I'm assuming that if you buy in six apples, it works out cheaper than if you buy in six loose apples. So just apply the six offer at the till. It's easy. You can get a till to do that. It's a computer for goodness sake. Carrots that are chopped up into batons already because I'm super lazy. I needed eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 carrots. For one of the recipes, they have to be chopped up into batons. I've never bought chopped up battened carrots before. I'm just being lazy because I do so much already. However, in one of the other bags, I have bought another kilo of carrots. So I easily could have bought two kilos of carrots and then chopped them up. However, that would have been two bags and then you've still got two bags of plastic anyway. So it's as broad as it's long, is it not? Mm -hmm. Easy peelers in plastic netting. Another thing of easy peelers in plastic netting and some Satsumas in plastic netting. Sweetener in a plastic jar. White chocolate fingers in a cardboard wrapper inside a plastic tray sealed in a single use plastic layer. Same goes for these cookies and cream things that I've bought for my partner. S plastic wrapper, but actually inside cardboard. Grapes in a plastic box wrapped in plastic. Onions in plastic netting. Low calorie tonic water in a plastic bottle. You can buy it in tins, but it's quadruple the price. I can't, I can't justify paying for less amount of low calorie tonic water for more money. I can't, I, I just physically cannot do it. Plastic. Right, what are these? Cap on widely recycled at recycling points. Check local curbside. So these are, these are able to be recycled, but maybe not in your area. Who knows, who knows? Why can't it just be like nationwide? Like where I used to live in Swansea, they might have recycled these, but where I live now might not. Why? Why is that a thing? It shouldn't be a thing. Kale in a plastic wrapper. Eight yogurts in plastic packaging with plastic lids, but they're wrapped in cardboard, so that's okay. That's sarcasm, by the way. My chocolate that keeps me on track because they're only two and a half sins per bar is plastic packaging. And inside there's more plastic packaging. Do I stop eating, like, do I stop buying those chocolates? Probably. But like, 
No, because they, like they helped me keep saying coffee. Is this, no, this packaging is not yet recycled, but I've been putting it in my packaging, in my recycling, because I thought that it was paper, but it's not. I've been contaminating my recycling by ass assumption. Cucumber. In this horrible plastic packaging. Why? Celery, same. I know in Morrison's you can get this, but I find like, if I went to Morrison's and did this full food shop, I'd be paying like 10 pound more. And like, yeah, it's much better for the environment, but like that 10 pound more, like where could have I have spent that more? Like Holly's school shoes cost a lot of money. So that's 10 pound towards her school shoes or that's 10 pounds towards a day out with my daughter. Like, uh, those are the peppers I was talking about. I normally, uh, see the plastic packaging's crap. They've just opened and spilled on the floor anyway. I normally buy those singular. Today I didn't. In Aldi's, they only do red and yellow peppers single. They don't do green peppers single. So when I do buy them single, I buy a red and a yellow pepper single, and then I go over to Sainsbury's to buy my green pepper single. It's like, mm, that's annoying. That, that annoys me. My partner requested bananas. I haven't bought bananas in a good couple of weeks because I felt like they were hindering my weight loss or slowing it down. So, but they're for him. Here's the carrots in a plastic bag. So even if I would have bought two lots of these, I still would end up with two plastic bags anyway. So I may as well have bought the Batten's carrots already and saved myself a little bit of time because I'm not saving on plastic regardless. Um, this. So the lid, I've got to check locally to see if the lid's recycled again. And the metal tube, you would have thought that would have been recycled, but it says not currently recycled. Why though? Why? <laughs> Why though? So when something is in metal, telling me that it's not yet recycled. Why? Please tell me why. Oh, this one, it does say, maybe I've already mentioned this, it does say widely recycled, but maybe not in your area. Eggs. So I bought these eggs and I would say that the box is recycled because it's paper. However, we know that eating chicken eggs is really bad for you and it's bad for the environment and it's not actually a very nice situation for the uh, hens who laid the eggs to be in. So, but I can recycle the packaging. I'm really cross with myself. So this is, this is a prime example of what I'm on about, right? There's six Aldi's answer to Muller Lights, these are, yeah? There's six in this pack. Like, I don't, like, I could just pick up six of them. I don't, I don't need this extra bit of paper and this. Like, I'm quite capable of picking up six and taking them to the till and the till can work out the offer for me. Like, I don't need this crap. Go away, go away, please. Frozen veggies in plastic packaging. How else would you buy frozen veggies? Like pre -pre prepared frozen veggies. Cow's milk, Blech. I only buy it for my partner and my daughter because they kick off if there isn't cow's milk in the house. So, sorry cows. Red kidney beans, chopped tomatoes. Hang on, are these cans recycled? <laughs> Widely recycled, the kidney beans are. And yeah, can. Widely recycled and the paper is widely recycled for the chopped tomatoes. Same goes for the beans. More chopped tomatoes, more chopped tomatoes. What else, what's the other tin? Oh, another tin of baked beans. You always need baked beans in your life. So they're about the only things that I'm dead certain on the fact that I can recycle. And then whatever's in this bag is what I got in Sainsbury's. Chilies in a plastic bag, obviously. All the essentials in plastic bags. Passata. Ugh. Widely recycled at recycling points. Check locally for curbside. So if it says recycle at recycling points, I'm assuming that means when you go to your local tip. So tips aren't called tips. They're called recycling centres, aren't they? So you're telling me 
that this is going to be accepted if I drive with my car and create lots of car emissions. It can be recycled at that recycling centre that's like an hour round trip for me to get to. But if I want my if I want my local council to come and pick up the recycling, I have to check to see if they will. That's basically what they're telling me. Mental. Panellini beans. I need some sort of like flagello, flage, alu, I don't know. Flagello, flag, flage, don't know. Um, but they didn't have any, so I chose cannellini beans because they kind of look similar. Ah, uh, hang on a minute. Is this tin recyclable? Thank goodness for that. It's widely, widely. If it says widely recyclable, recyclable, that means that somewhere that it's not. Please tell me where this place is so I can go and smack them in the face. 10 of these because they're on offer for 25p. I would normally go for options because they're half a sin or less. But I got 10, so that makes it two pounds. Um, I could just buy the single pot and create less bag wastage. However, then I'd have to weigh out the amount, not that I'm too lazy to weigh out 11 grams of hot chocolate every night. However, I'm greedy and I will creep it up to like 12, 13, maybe 15 grams. I want something extra chocolatey and then I don't lose weight. So I've chosen these because I want to lose weight. You're probably all screaming at the screen going, mm, well, stop drinking them then. Then, then you know we don't need to worry about them. It's not as simple as that. There's no wonder. Everyone's confused. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's so hard. The plastic waste e epidemic is real. But everything's wrapped in plastic. I don't have a choice. And there's no wonder sometimes people just go, oh, I, don't, I don't care anymore. Because it's hard work. Like... I'm just, everything is, like, apart from the tins and the eggs, I can safely say everything else here has got some sort of plastic on it. Oh, yeah, and my single pepper and spring onions. That's it. That is it. That's shocking. Oh, and the bananas. Although the stickers on them, however... Who knows? Who knows if those stickers can be recycled now because they've got glue on them? Who knows? But at least they're biodegradable. So if they do go into the landfill, they'll biodegrade. But then does a banana skin biodegrade properly in the UK because it's not from its original like nature form? So like bananas don't naturally grow in the UK unless they're forced. Um, so therefore, does the skin really rot and biodegrade down properly back into UK soil because it's not in the right environment? Do you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I feel a bit cross. Oh yeah, I'm a mother-in-law, bless her heart. She knows that I like to try and buy veggies individually. So she then, instead of me using the single-use plastic bags in the shops, which I didn't use, I just literally put it into my trolley and then put it into my bag for life bags. She went and bought me more plastic bags to use. She tried. I understand her thought process because like Sainsbury's have these now and it made me cross. So be gone with single use plastic bags to put your vegetables in. But here's another plastic bag to replace it with. It just lasts a bit longer. Why don't you just give me paper bags or just be done with bags altogether and people just can't buy them anymore? That would be the simple answer. Don't make any more plastic and then people are forced to use other things. Hmm, I wonder how we'd get along. It's not like the whole world would come crashing down if we stopped using plastic in supermarkets. It wouldn't. It really would not. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope that has been educational and eye-opening because, like, every now and then, like, I knew I had plastic issues and, like, I've tried to reduce down where I thought I can. I can clearly cut down more than I can, 
more more than I have been. I can clearly cut down more than I have been, but it's going to cost me so much more financially. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this, then please leave some comments in the comment box down below. Um, I will mainly be getting on with like my try-ons and stuff. This is something that I'm passionate about. It's something that means a lot to me. Um, this is my channel, so I can make whatever videos I like. Um, you don't have to watch them. If you have got to the end of this video, thank you very much. And I shall see you all in the next one. Thank you.